Hi right guys, my name is Rick Shields down here at Trafford Golf Centre in Manchester and today I've got a longest drive competition against the new tailor-made drivers. This is number five and six tailor-made driver this year, so this should be pretty good. Uh, we've got the tailor-made SLDR in the 460 setting at 9.5 degrees of loft, so I've kept it in the similar standard loft as I can, and the new jet speed. Guys, if you've not seen my review of these before, do check out my channel for those as well. I've done individual reviews on this, but this is going to be the longest drive competition against the two. I'm going to hit three golf shots with each. We're going to see how far they each go. I'm going to alternate them as well, so I'm not going to be biased to one. I'm going to alternate them up, and we'll give you the most accurate figures we can. New launch monitor, we've got the GC2, so this is giving us very accurate figures. Regardless of wind and temperature, this is going to give us much more accurate carry distances as well, so I'll put all that information up on screen for you. Um, what should we go with first? Let's go, let's go SLDR. This is kind of the old tailor-made driver now, so to speak. No, it is still a current one, but now they've brought out the jet speed. So, SLDR first. I've got it in neutral setting, I'm hitting real golf balls, but even though that doesn't really matter on the new piece of equipment, I'm gonna hit them hard, see how far they can go. I didn't say straight, I said hard. <laughs> That's gone way off to the right. 280 carry distance on that, 160 miles per hour ball speed. I'll swap them over. Not the best, so it's got to see if he can beat that. So 280 carry. Let's see if the jet speed can get one up on the uh, SLDR. That was hit better. Is it going to carry longer? No, it's not. 274. So it's 1-0 so far to the SLDR. We're going to go back to the SLDR again. So 1-0 so far. Didn't particularly hit those great either of them, but next one. That was hit better. That was definitely hit better. Oh, it's reading that it's not. So 273 actual carry distance on that one. So jet speed's got a chance to catch up on this round. Otherwise it might be a 2-0 whitewash. That should definitely have gone further. I'd be surprised if it's not. Wow, 299 for the jet speed. So 299 is so far, it's the longest shot. So it's one all between the two. I say 199 there, that meant 299. <laughs> it was 299, not 199. So 164 miles per hour ball speed, which is pretty impressive. Right, see if any of them can crack the 300 mark. If any, that has got a great chance. That really has got a good chance. Oh, not quite, 291. So it's not a bad hit for the SLDR. We've got the last one with the jet speed. This is all down to this shot. Currently, it's one all over the two shots. 166 miles per hour, that last one had. Ball speed, that was. Right, let's see what can happen here. So these are carry distances, guys, 291 to beat. Has it got a chance? Not sure. No, it's not. 279. So, guys, we've got a winner. We actually hit the longest golf shot with the jet speed. This went 299 carry distance, but out of the three golf shots, the SLDR hit more consistent long shots. So you've got kind of a bit of a judge there. We've got the longest actual golf shot was hit with the jet speed, but the, out of the three, the, jet, the SLDR just managed to clip it. Guys, I'll put all that information up on screen for you as well, so you can have a look at that. If you enjoyed the video, do check out my other videos. I've done other reviews and tests and stuff in the past, so you can check out my channel for that. Do check me out on Facebook and Twitter, and subscribe to the channel. The more subscribers I get, the more videos I shall do. So that was my longest drive tournament against SLDR and the Jet Speed. Thanks for watching.